<laughs> like I've mentioned already, today's episode is um, centered around relationships, and it's two types of relationship styles that we're going to discuss today. Mm-hmm. Opened versus closed relationship. I guess the caveat I do want to bring up, though, is that open relationships can be a myriad of things. Closed, we're thinking monogamous for the most part. Yes. Right? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so like we've been doing for some of our other episodes um, thus far, usually kind of just set the scene, set the tone, set the vibe, um, and let everybody know kind of where we stand when it comes to this. Um, So for me, I will say I'm open to open relationships. I'm open to the idea of them. They don't freak me out. I love it for you if you do it potentially could work for me (laughs) in the world. Um, How about you, Dalapo? Um, I am not open to open (laughs) relationships. I prefer and will always choose a closed relationship Mm -hmm. because, yeah, I don't, I don't like the door being open. Like I, Mm -hmm. when I go to my room, I close the door. When I leave my room, I close the door. When I go inside, I close the door. (laughs) I don't want anything open. No, I don't want randomness Mm -hmm. like that anyway. Like I can take some randomness, but that's not something that I would, like, I don't think is... Let me not say I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm not going to tell someone else not to do it. Right. But for me personally, I could almost never be in an open relationship. Okay, almost but, never. But for the sake of argument, I think mm-hmm. your viewpoint is more along the lines, though, of I think it's weird when others aren't over relationships. Like as much as I you're saying you'll weird. tell people not to do or you wouldn't tell people not to do it, you would look at their relationship a little bit different. I would. Yeah. And this goes back to a conversation we actually had on Instagram live um, yes. months ago when the, the situation um broke with Jada and Will mm-hmm. and um yeah, August Alcina. I don't remember why we talked about that. Yeah, yeah, the entanglement um gate. So basically that happened several months ago and we had a whole IG live about it. So if you guys are interested in seeing how we um discussed that, feel free to check that out. But mm-hmm. um yeah, I think even in that conversation you pretty much said like you think it's weird if in fact they were in an open relationship it is and weird. that was allowed. I I think it's so weird and I think that they came out and of course we did this i think before like they did their whole big interview or their red table or whatever they did but and not to make this about them but just kind of jumping off of that since we did kind of reach the topic before mm-hmm. i think that they came out and basically ran as far away from open relationship as they could like they were basically like nah that was not what was going on right would you agree with that no i think i know you're not agree with me. yeah i know i think they I think there is truth to them having openness to their relationship. No, no, I'm not saying if there's truth or not. I'm saying, like, what they came out and said. Like, Will Smith and Jada I'm talking about. Like, I feel like they didn't come out and say, like, yes, we had an open relationship or we have. Like, I feel like they literally came out and said, we have never had an open relationship. We don't have an open relationship. That's not what happened. Like, yes, something happened, but it wasn't. Like, <laughs> I feel like they literally admitted to everything except for the open part. Uh, yeah. So I can't tell you the open is short. No, but I'm just, it goes, all I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make, mm-hmm. let me get to it, is mm-hmm. that it is weird, which is why even if they are in an open relationship, they're not trying to tell everyone they're in an open relationship because it is weird. Okay. So for me, the reason I don't think it's weird is because monogamy as a concept is to me just as valid as any other relationship style so if i'm gonna say monogamy is a valid form of relationship why can't others be because at the end of the day this is all constructs created by humans like Mm -hmm. who made up decisions and we're supposed to all work with it so if you're in the more untraditional way of looking at things i don't think that makes you weird that just makes you different and being open to me is just maybe a style that works best for you because maybe you've tried monogamy and it just didn't it didn't tickle your fancy for whatever reason i mean of course like it's not it's not like there's no use for it and it's not that it might not work best for some people Mm -hmm. but i still think that like you said it's a construct it's a man-made construct let's just say we agree with that let's just say we go with that not gonna get into the weeds on little details but let's say it's a man-made construct It was constructed for a reason. And like, I believe that most of those reasons are fairly valid, such as you, it's hard for you to love two people equally or to treat two people the same or to treat two people fairly (laughs) enough that everyone will be happy. Too much. Let me not let you get off on this tangent too much. I, I will say, from what I understand, monogamy 
their use for it was really practical. It wasn't really about making sure you could handle two people's emotions. Mm -hmm. It was more like, okay, the woman needs protection from a man. The man needs stability in some sense. And Mm -hmm. that's kind of how it worked. It was like to kind of secure your place in society, to make sure that you're protected, to make sure you're fed. Fair enough. Yada, yada, yada. Because at the end of the day, at one point, there really wasn't a style to relationship. Like back in the like days where clothing wasn't worn and we were like using spheres to like hunt down tigers that there wasn't a like let's sit down and have this conversation about marriage and one person with one man it was like something that's been constructed within the past several i guess hundreds of years so do you think those reasons are not valid anymore you don't think that stability is required you don't think i know you're gonna say yeah, you don't want the protection think, gender no, roles are no, 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 there no, no, no. but stability required i'm just saying it doesn't at the time monogamy made the most sense to appeal to those things. Okay, but okay, yeah. this day and age, I don't think monogamy is the answer to making sure that, for instance, the woman is, you know, married off and protected. And Okay, fair you know, enough on that. Specific, relationship but let's say, fine. like, one of the things you mentioned, which I think is actually one of the major reasons that I'm for a close relationship mm-hmm. is stability. I think stability is a pretty important thing. And I think that, of course, you can have stability in an open relationship. I've never been in one, so I can't speak to it from experience. Yeah. But I'm going to imagine from seeing it on TV, seeing it at a distance, that there is a level of stability that can be acquired. And obviously, people need different levels of stability, right? For me, I need a good amount of stability. I want to know like that things are going to be like this, generally speaking. Yeah, Some people me, might yeah. not need that. So yeah. I can understand if like why you might not need that situation. But I think most people need a good no, amount of stability. Listen, what they need. I think <laughs> most people need a good amount of stability and I think you're going to find a little more stability, a lot more stability in a closed relationship. But that's to you. You get what I'm it's saying? It's my opinion, like, of I, course. I, I, so what I mean is that like stability can come in many forms and for some people, like you're saying, stability doesn't have to mean seeing the same person and that Of course, yeah, yeah. That, that's not what I'm trying like, to say. Stability can take so many different forms of so course it's like, why in your brain do you think monogamy is the answer to stability slash i took mainly i took umbrage to when you said it's weird that you're not doing the monogamy route because i don't think to me weird means like how how is that possible that you find like safety or peace and not how is that possible but like why are you complicating something that's simple Fine. there's literally or a that. simple precedent right let's let's call it that there's a simple precedent that exists mm-hmm. And an open relationship is, I don't want to say the opposite, but I guess in a way kind of the opposite. It's like zagging when everything is like going smooth. So to me, it is weird because I'm like, oh, is that really the best thing? I'm not saying it can't be. I'm not saying it would never be. I'm just saying that I look at it and say, oh, you could have this simple, less complicated, but you want the super complicated Super, I guess everything what it is, is like, up in the air. I guess what thing. it is, is like you might be putting your, you're putting your expectations of like your life and what you see in your partnership on others in the sense that for them, it might be complicated to try and make a monogamous relationship work. Like for them, it might be, that might be the difficult thing. Like I'm trying so hard to make this thing work that is just not meant for me. And for them... The co- l- less complication in their life means having openness in their relationship. I understand what you're saying, and of course, there's no way I can speak about something like this and my experience and my perspective is yeah, like it's literally from it. my yeah, perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I also think that open relationships come with like literally so much stuff. Like basically, think about dealing with one person. Mm-hmm. Now think about dealing with two people. Like I you know, like it's just a simple. Easy. It's my point is like it's a simple equation. Whether we want to admit it or not, it's a simple equation of like it's easier to deal with one person versus two. It's more straightforward, it's less complex to deal with one person versus two or three or versus one plus whoever fills in the blank on a yeah, given day, sure. month, year, whatever. So that's my point. That's all I'm saying. It's like you can't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me that, oh, it might actually be simpler to deal with seven people. Well, no, I'm like, I mean, nah. When it's I say not. that when I say it's less complicated, I mean like it brings less like strife or strain into their relationship. In some like aspects. Having openness. Yeah, in some aspects. And to them, when they do then they do the math and like the equation comes out at whatever X it does. 
for them, the ex that an open relationship brings is much better for them than the one that a monogamous relationship brings. Like, however the equation works out, for them, it's less complication in the sense mm. that I'm happier, I'm more settled, I'm more so, at peace. So I feel like you say all this to say that you could definitely be in an open relationship. Um, I guess the reason I brought up the caveat in the beginning that, that um, openness can mean so many different things is oh, that... Oh, God. Say yes, yeah, that's it. No, don't tell me I've started because this is the same issue we have with Will Smith and Jada in the sense that you're so like tied to the idea of an open relationship means one thing and one thing at all, and alone. Whereas to me, there is a spectrum where it begins with something that's like adjacent to monogamy all the way to like polygamy. Like, and I think you can fit anywhere in between and Fair consider enough. yourself an open relationship. So I'm thinking traditional monogamy is where it's closed. You don't really have eyes for anybody else. You don't talk about eyes book for anybody else. There's no like you can have eyes that. all you like. Just keep your you eyes. Don't do anything else. It. Fair, yeah. Eyes for anybody else is obviously just mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a I got you to use. Um, but yeah, it's like, and I I don't necessarily think that's totally the only style of relationship I can see myself in. Like, I can see a little bit of Can you give me a straightforward answer? Can you see yourself in a non-closed relationship? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Depending on, like, I can't see myself in a polygamous relationship. Can you see yourself in a relationship where your boyfriend or significant other, I'm just going to keep it as a guy because I feel like you don't like, I'm just going to keep it as a guy. (laughs) Right? But can you be in a relationship where he's like, listen, I can't just be with one woman. Like, I have to be with multiple women for my stability, for my peace of mind, yeah. so I have less strife. No, he's, he's so totally fine I'm going to, to present me with I wanna, I'm with you, but I also want to have the, the literally, I want to have the openness, the option to be with one other woman. Maybe not any other woman I want. One other woman that you can know if you want to know her. You can be as close or not closer See, okay, as you want. Th- th- that's where... Th- the dynamics would have to be discussed between us in the sense that I wouldn't be okay if you had a full blown other relationship, other partner, like somebody okay. that's literally like basically. So you don't want another girlfriend. person. Yeah, I don't really. I'm not really down for that. So you'd be more. But it could be more like. <laughs> you might have like a passing. little small passing. You can have a fling. fling you can have a fling, game. but you can't have a full Like you full went on blown. vacation. Oh my god. So he can go the reason I always girl, the like... reason I always shy away from saying all these things on, <laughs> yeah. on on microphone is because I don't I okay maybe this is selfish maybe for the sake like, of the podcast I should go all the way in but for me I don't want to say all of this and then somebody comes to me later on like oh but I heard you say this so like are you down or are you down like somebody who is down because I think that me. I understand what you're saying of it's course like, you I don't, don't want to say wanna, anything I don't pigeon myself of course you don't want to put yourself in a box yeah. but I think you're also finding out that. As much as you can say these things, like, it's like theory versus no, like no. reality. I, it is. Genuinely, if I was having this conversation with you off mic, I would be, a lo- I, I think, a little bit more forthcoming. No one is, kind of okay, thing. Faye, no one is going to come back to this recording and be like, you said this one. You Bro. can change your mind. You literally can change your mind. You can be like, okay, that was then. This is now. I've I changed know, my mind. I'm, I know I'm not a celebrity <laughs> or like anybody that like Yo. matters in the sense that this is not about to become like the biggest front page news. But I just mean in the sense that like, there's some things you just want to not be as like explicitly open about when it comes to this. But for the thing. sake of conversation. But that's why I gave you a simple answer that yes, I would be open to an open relationship. Well, that's why I want to go some fashion. Down, but I exact, can't be specific. But exactly. But that's why we have to go to specifics just for the simple fact of if you're telling me that this is what a closed relationship is and everything else is open. Well, that like okay, means so, so much. So that's you, why I'm trying to paint a specific thing that I would think of as open. So for instance, you, um, when I had this conversation with you in the past, mm-hmm. I gave you some parameters and you weren't really ascribing to them. So for instance, I typically love um, the idea of like a monogamish or free relationship. Those are terms that are used by somebody named Chan Boudreau. You said monogamous or free? Monogamish or free. Okay. Um, there are terms that are used by Shan Brudrum, which I love her, and okay. Cardi actually knows her as well. And, and she goes kind of super into detail as to what this could mean in okay. terms of monogamous or free relationships. When I try to explain what those were to you, you are not having it. So for okay, instance, explain monogamish it to me now. could be like, um, you're down with, if you flirt with the waitress at dinner, like that's cool with you. And traditionally monogamous <laughs> relationship, that's not cool. Your girlfriend would be allowed to be like, 
fuck out of here with all that. So, you can't be okay, okay. With her. So, okay. That let, is a traditionally monogamous. Okay, fair enough, right? So, for the sake of this conversation, I am going to, in fact, re-dismiss that definition. That, as, that's, I already knew. That's why I didn't want to start giving No, no, no. But the point, listen. Okay, so we're having this conversation because people are listening now. Some people might not actually go on IG to watch our thing, right? Right. So right. we can have some so of it over again. It a little, a little bit. Okay, and I also literally just didn't even remember that. Maybe because I dismissed it. <laughs> but I think that, let's, like, let's be honest, right? Like, in a, in a monogamous relationship, a closed relationship, like, yes, it's with anything, right? You can define things differently. There is, if you look up any word, any term in, on the internet or in a dictionary or different dictionaries, there's going to be slight differences, right? Mm-hmm. And how it's defined. So I don't mean to dismiss it as there is no credence there. I'm just dismissing it as like flirting does not make a to relationship to so, me. To you. So, so like, that's why I'm like based off of my idea of a regular monogamous relationship as it's been taught to us from young, the idea is it's closed. You don't really do much in the sense that you can't you don't really flirt, talk to anybody. Like, that's yeah, not... you know, that is... So, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, so it's, okay, at this point, though, then it gets so nuanced if we're not going to just choose certain things. Like, we have to choose certain things that's what I'm trying to so say. Like, if we're going to if we're gonna choose certain things, I'm telling you, like, let's choose it together. But, like, you're literally, like, basically what you're doing is I'm open... I can be in an open relationship and my open relationship means that, oh, he can flirt. And I'm like, that's like literally no. Okay, let me let I'm, me say I'm, this. I use that as the most small. I know, but that's what I'm trying to say. Like you have like to move. Polygamy. Basically, if you're if you're gonna say something, right, you have to move a little bit further from what a quote unquote traditional definition no, of a. Because if not, the, then it's like you're not moving any. Like the difference is not clear enough. Because to me, if I'm in a relationship and like. I can flirt with someone. I don't think I'm in an open relationship. Like, if let's say I'm with my girlfriend and my girlfriend says, oh, if you want to flirt with someone, that's cool with me. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to now tell you that I'm in an open relationship. I'm To me, that's a closed relationship. Mm-hmm. So that's, well, however you, like, exactly. That's why I don't, that's why I don't, like putting too many new words because it overcomplicates something that is generally simple. But open is too broad, in my opinion, where it's like, and you can throw everything, including that's the why I said. Sink remember when I asked you the question? I was like, non closed because open is very broad, and that's why I tried to be a little more specific. And you didn't want to get too specific, so that's like, where no, do you want to go I'm with just it? Giving you examples of what could be in the monogamous umbrella, what could be in like the free umbrella is like we discuss it could change it could be one minute we're closed and monogamous like maybe like i'm the type that like if i'm pregnant with your child i want all eyes on me you're the things we might have established pre-pregnancy let's close it that's always up for discussion like completely open can be something else where you are more than welcome to date and that's what i'm saying you're gonna laugh at this in the sense that you're not somebody who really subscribes to the whole there's so many spectrums there's so many it's not that i don't subscribe so no no so it's not that i don't subscribe it's it's not that it's no it's not that it's one or the other i just think that on this huge spectrum let's say the spectrum is one to a hundred let's say one is monogamous Mm -hmm. hundred is whatever you think the most possibly open thing is i feel like you're comparing one to like 1.2 and I'm like, okay, like I understand if one is technically the line, but like so if you're going to say this- like, the, if, we're, if we're doing opposites, if we're doing verses, if we're saying two different things, like we've had conversations where okay, like, that's why I was there's trying obviously to make a it gray. so much about me. Of in course, the sense of course. That like when I say I'm open to an open relationship, you that was the question that spawned yeah. this whole discussion. When I'm saying I'm open to an open relationship, Mine might not be so far from monogamy as course, somebody but else. But then if we were to make it more of a broad discussion that really doesn't tie me at all into it, then the real discussion for me was when you use words like weird or I don't get it or it doesn't make sense versus me who was like, I completely like, I completely And I think, okay, so I, I completely understand. understand I understand what you're saying, right? Yeah. But the reason that, the reason I always put you in it is because I do feel like our definitions of when I say open, I don't say definition because definition can be kind of closed off. But when I say like open, I am not like literally the example of flirting with someone that does not. I don't, those come, but those examples come up when you start looking for me to give you more specifics as to what I would be. Okay but listen, with. but listen, what I'm trying to say is this. <laughs> so I feel like, like- I, so, you know, usually when we have these conversations, I like to have definitions so that we know where the line is. With your Joe button ass. Yeah. So to me, it's like. We're having a, the argument really comes down to the definition of what you're calling open and what I'm saying is open and not open. And that's why 
I always go to specifics because okay, the definition look, is so do you broad. you agree with me here in the sense that when I get specific mm-hmm. in terms of me, then yes, I might be 1.2, 1.5, like degrees away from like, so monogamy. Me. But if you want me to give you broader examples, I can. It just won't apply to me as much. This whole argument part of this conversation I understand. spawned from when you were looking for specifics directed at me. I understand I what you're I saying. I give you specifics are definitely no, no, way no. more left field. And, but see, the, the point is. Yeah, that's how I'm like, like we can move off me. Yeah. Okay, give me off. okay, like if but the thing is I, it, it's it's hard to explain basically. You're saying that I'm not open to an open relationship by simply saying that I'm okay with my boyfriend potentially flirting. I guess with I guess that's all it is, yeah. I guess and that's I, that's and all I was that telling you off mic, I can maybe give you more specific examples that well, would definitely say- take me out of monogamy Yo, I box. wish I could like just rip my hair out because this, I mean, we've been through this before exactly. and this is exactly where we came to, to but I'm so happy at least on Which IG. Is why I keep trying to remove myself from it. That's on IG, why I, I had other do. people there that like were there to support me and were like, listen, we see what Faye is doing. Faye is literally, what you no, see, Faye what is you, dancing. No, no, no. Like what you're you see dancing. Faye doing is trying to avoid being specific about <sighs> me because that's how I would prefer to act. Like that, I just don't want to be so specific about me. Like, okay, so, like, why is that so I, I, I understand. understand. I understand. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> okay. I understand what you're saying. For me, just like if I ask you a specific question, like, would you have a threesome with five that? Like, maybe you don't want to answer. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But I, I, I would, I would be fine with you. No, you're one. right. That's like, of course, <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to answer. Exactly. But at the same time, I can answer it in a general sense. Like, would I ever have a threesome with someone? Yes. Would I ever want to have a threesome while I was in a relationship? Let's say, I'm gonna be like, I think I even said this. I'll be like. I don't know that I want to, but I could see myself doing it. Like, it's not something that I'm, com- I'm not closed off to. It's not like a hell no. Like, it's not that. Okay. So, like, I can answer that, but I, like, I also start off with saying that, like, I'm for the closed relationship. So, I feel like there's nuance in the conversation, right, obviously. Right. Like, there's, you don't have, that's why it was like, you don't have to, you could say something and feel differently in a second. Like, it's completely normal <laughs> and acceptable. Like, okay. you know, because it's, it's a theoretical thing also, mm-hmm. right? And that's also why, like, it's different when there's, like, a specific person and it's like, oh, like, you're really saying this. It's like, oh, like, I think I could be, like, to me, I'm like, I don't think that I could be in an open relationship. Most Who knows? Like, it could I turn could out be. that I'm the one that's going to be in an open relationship. You know what and, the like, funniest part is, too, though? I think I even said on IG, but, again, these were things you didn't love. I, I said, like, oh, maybe, like, kissing, that, that's also a conversation that could happen. <laughs> but once I said conversation, it was such an issue to you. And I'm like, because it really is depending on the person, depending on me at the time of making these decisions. I understand. There's so... I can't... Just I like honestly, how you said, I, I can completely understand. see myself in a threesome. That's what I said too. I can see myself that I don't know, but I can maybe see. I could talk about it. But, but no, no, but see... Like when I, you always want so specifics from me, but I've never heard you just be like, I'm throwing down the gauntlet. I can for sure see myself. All right, definitely I just said that. I, I, I think the you thing is... You get more of a... I think I could see. I could talk about I, it. I and think there's that, a world where... Da, 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 I, think, da. I think that the, the issue is ultimately, like you just said... You don't want to answer the question. Uh, definitively. You I'm exactly. always no, no, more exactly. like, I can so, talk about it. I can have a conversation about it. I'm open to talking. Like, of let's course, see. Of course, but, that. but also, you don't like those answers. Sometimes if we're, if, like, we're, if, we're answer. if we're picking sides to say, right? Like, let's say we're picking sides. Like we already said, we know there's more nuance to the conversation. It depends on the person. It depends on the situation, mm-hmm. the times. And, and like, things can change. Like you said, you can go from open to close, close to open at different periods and stuff. So, like, I'm accepting of all you of that. Even, you didn't even acknowledge the fact that when you said, would you be open? Would you be in an open relationship? I literally said, yes. Maybe the problem with you is you want specifics. Like, yeah, no. he's totally down to go fuck around with other bitches anytime, any day Dang. of the week. Like, those are the answers you want. So this this <laughs> is a problem. Like, so the problem, in you, you the problem in you not want to get specific is that you will say, yes, I would definitely be in an open. I could be in an open. Not definitely will be, right? But like, yes, yeah. I could be in an open relationship. Yeah. If you're willing to say that, then like... Why is it that because when I, I wait, don't have wait, wait, for you, fate, but fate, fate, can you wait? Why is it that when I now propose a potentially open relationship, it's like, eh. Because I don't have specific and I feel like I have answers it, for you. And, and the reason it's an issue, at least, a reason it bothers me, not an issue, but the reason it bothers me so much is like, let's go to my one to a hundred. Um, we know what one is. You're basically saying that, oh, you can do more than one. Yeah. And I feel like I've gone to like five. And I'm like, okay, can you do five? And you're like, ah, no, no. Like, you're not saying no, but like, no. you're basically like, I can't answer. Um, and I'm like, okay. whoa. If I you can't wanna, answer. I don't want to go back this, on, the, on, the, on the like semantics here. Let's just get off the semantics. Let's yeah. go back to the initial point that we were, I guess, on different ends of, which is you think 
doing anything that's not monogamy is weird. I think no. <laughs> that's literally what you said before. No, oh, now oh, you oh. want to change it? I, I'm wait, not, wait, wait, wait. Is that see, not what he said before? Is that what he said or not? Sake, no, like, but is that what he said or so, not? Okay, wait, wait. Did he not say Faye, that? Can you relax? I want to. I want to wait before you go on. Can we establish? Did Delapo say that or not? Did he say it's weird to be anything that's not monogamous? I didn't say that. What I said. Let me tell you what I said, <laughs> Faye. Let me tell you what I said because I can say it again. It's literally not like I'm not changing my, what okay, I said. Okay. What I said was. An open relationship is weird to me. Now, maybe our problem, not even maybe, our problem definitely isn't what we're calling an open relationship. Because going back, I know it's not about that specific example, but I just think it's emblematic of the differences of our opinions. Mm -hmm. Is a relationship where the guy or the girl is a a partner, one of the people in in a relationship, a monogamous relationship, is allowed to flirt, to me, does not constitute an open relationship. So that's why when I say like an open relationship, like, I mean, like, open. I don't mean, oh, you can flirt. Like, that. that's not open to me. Okay, so, so I have no problem with that. Like, open? that's Just give me your... Open, you can have of... another partner. You can have an, another person, an actual partner. Like, you have a relationship with... Because we're talking about relationships. So, you, so you have it's a... It's, like, synonymous with what would be considered um, polygamy, which is... Not necessarily poly- polygamy. is marriage. I think, so it doesn't yeah, have polygamy, to be polygamy is marriage. There's another but, word that's not polyg- polyamory, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say so. Polyamory meaning like you can have a relationship with multiple people. Polyamory is basically polygamy without marriage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay. that's, that's what an open relationship is to and me. And there's no other... What about someone who just dates other people? Like, they want to go on dates with multiple other people. There's no people meeting other people. I would call... So I don't know if that fits into polyamorous. So that's that's why I don't want to use words I don't know. But to me, like that's, to me, that's an open relationship. Like, you're going on dates. I think that's kind of what I was trying to say. Like, but I don't disagree with that. Like I'm literally telling, like I understand that there's a or spectrum. Or like if you're down with like they can maybe kiss somebody. And I'm like exactly. So like that's what but I'm that's saying. Like, like that's that even the randomly thin makes it like how random is it? But if you just say like is it generally okay like to just a bar? Ki- they come home. Maybe they yeah. Let's just say generally maybe in speaking. your relationship, it's like don't ask, don't tell. But that's not cheating to you. Yeah, that's cheating that, to me. Like, I don't actually cheat in that, in that open relationship. Oh, yeah, no, no that would be an open, that would be open relationship. Okay. And that would be one of the things that I think so is weird. For you, I don't want my for girlfriend. You open to is kiss just anything else. sexual or relationship based with anybody other than your primary partner. That's open. I think I agree with that. I, I don't want to think definition. too hard. Yes. And yeah, I agree, I agree with that definition. I think the only additions I bring in is that it doesn't have to be sexual or relationship based. It could just be anything in the realm of creating like static, like chemistry. <laughs> with somebody else i understand what you're saying and i'm I'm saying for me Mm -hmm. i'm not saying that's a deal breaker but for others like you've grown up seeing things on tv or in real life where it's like oh my god he like he talked to another girl like i'm not down with that like he's best friends with his um ex i'm not down like there's really rigid lines see like that's i understand what you're saying i'm I'm saying i understand for you for you that does not constitute openness exactly i'm saying for others that does like why think are for, you okay not okay ex- so i think for most that. i think that for most it doesn't like that's i think that's my point is like the, everyone has there's mad definitions everyone can define but if you ask 100 people you flirting with someone does not make your relationship okay, open just like so why are we cheating, using that just like the, how the term cheating there's people there's different things that are cheating to of other, course. like cheating so why to don't somebody we, some people is like you texted another I underst- girl Faye, i understand what you're saying i'm not disagreeing with you that some people might think that so and I, of course, different. I think that they're wrong. But what I'm trying to say is, if we're having this conversation, mm-hmm. let's stay away from the gray. Like, you want to, like, live in the gray. I'm like, the gray is gray. Like, mm-hmm. the gray to me, the parts that you're saying is, like, someone could say this. I'm like, yes, but, like, why are they saying that? And, like, I don't want to talk to that. I don't want to talk about how you having okay, a so you big friend, your, you having a girl okay, that's your best understand. friend based is, on like, your, based a relationship. Based on your like, understanding of what Open versus Close did, you've already said you would never be down for an open relationship. I, based yeah, off I of literally your, said that, yeah. Based off of your understanding what yeah. open versus closed is, I still think my answer is yes. Okay. Based on certain things that I, in my mind... Like I know what that's I what know, you're saying. Exactly. What I know I would not break up with somebody about. Like, what I know I would no, not, not even... What I know I would not even consider to be cheating. Like, I know in my mind, like, okay... I, I think I could literally be okay with that. That's me. That last thing you just said confused me about the... As in, like, you know I know I, in my mind it's not cheating to somebody else. I say that because, like, 
Okay, okay. Like, okay. I don't know. You, you are you? I understand what you're yeah, trying to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I. I, I think like I think that we're that. saying that. I think that. Listen. I think this, I think we agree. We agree. But and I think I'm saying oh, like oh, maybe oh, I haven't oh. given you specifics that will make you think that I'm okay with the open relationship. But I know based off yes, of your definition, exactly. and I'm saying I don't want to give you specific. But I, really I understand. Your no, question. Faye, I understand what you're saying. The, the let me just go back to my issue. What yeah. makes me go crazy yeah. is that. I know that you know exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. But for argument's sake, you're literally going to be like, nah, let me pick the most gray possible example. It's like, no, say, <laughs> I don't want to talk about the gray. Yeah, fine. Let's yeah. move to the extreme okay. because that's like, okay. the, like clearly open. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just to make it okay. whatever. But I do, I know a lot of people are, you know, in open relationships. It's definitely become more of a thin, mm-hmm. more of the norm. Mm-hmm. It remains weird to me, <laughs> but you know, like I don't judge the people as like there's something wrong with them or anything. I do think that it's, in my opinion, like it's just a lot of complication. I think that the more popular it becomes, we're going to hear more about how like it to me it's just not sustainable. So I guess it depends on how long your relationship is supposed to be right because we always assume that like you want your relationship to last forever but like maybe you really just don't you know what i mean yeah. like it could just be like i just need this situation ship for this long and i'm good and it could switch to something else but mm-hmm. to me when i think open relationships it's like it just seems so not sustainable like it could be really good for a moment however long that moment is yeah. but it's like outside of complication point, according to you mm-hmm. what other things do you think make it impossible for it to be sustainable i think that's it it's complication complication in matters of the heart because it's hard to be in a relationship with someone or someones and you have no feelings and then once feelings are involved it's like but how about the people messy. who've been in polygamous or polyamorous re- relationships for eons and it was sustainable for them what do you have to say about that I don't know of those people, so I can't speak. I don't have an example in my mind. In I could be Africa, like Africa. Think about polygamy as how normal. But those really, those are things are. Like, they're not in, like they're not happened, good situations. Happened, but it's not the best. That's why most of our parents that that grew up in polygamy. right. Which I'm I'm I'm, I'm not saying that polygamous relationships should be default by no, any no, means. Thing, I'm just saying there were some out in the, there are some today like with more. So so okay. There's okay. some today with Mormons, for instance, where so, it is sustainable in the sense that everybody was in that polygamous relationship till the day they died. Same no, with no, no, no. So a lot of people will say monogamy is not sustainable. I understand what you're saying, like, babe. My to, point to go 80 years of marriage without even. I understand party what you're cheating, saying. I think my point when I say possible. not sustainable again we know what we're saying is that yes you could be you could be married to 10 wives and you could marry to them to the day you all die yeah but like have people that are in those relationships but they're not be said about monogamy i'm not disagreeing but what i'm trying to say is that (laughs) it's to me it's less sustainable i literally told you that i don't know one example which i don't know that many in general anyway Mm -hmm. but i can't think of one example of like Oh, this is a polygamous, polyamorous, poly whatever but that's because relationship. It's less common too. Facts. So, like, you're seeing so many more monogamous relationships on the day to day. So, of course, you're gonna see more. Of course, but working. I can only answer based on what I've seen and based on what I think, my ideas. So that's what I'm answering based on. So I told you that one, I have but not you seen can't it. Judge sustainability Two, just based off what you've seen. You have to judge sustainability on the grander scheme of things. Do you? And I'm telling you, I'm on saying, the grander scheme of yeah. things. I already explained to you, there's too many emotions, there's too many feelings, there's too many people involved that it's not going to be sustainable. That's like if you have a, I don't know, if you make a team, it's like when you do stuff like at work or school even, Mm -hmm. if you have a really big team, it makes it harder for like generally it's harder to sustain. Like Mm -hmm. it's not, nothing is 100%. So I'm not saying that it could never last, it could never work. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that if we could somehow track the success rate, I'm going to put my money on hey those polyamorous polygamous whatever they're going to be less successful if if we're looking long term they could be very very successful in a period of time they could be way more successful because it depends on what your goal is and success like all these words we can define however we want which is why it's a tricky conversation but to me yes polyamorous polygamous all that stuff is less sustainable in my opinion i would think so okay i guess my opinion is the opposite in this that it's more not that it's even more. It's just that I, I, if we were to track it, I wouldn't be surprised if they're pretty parallel. What would you expect? Like, 
let's say like 50, they say 50% of monogamous relationships work out. I could say like in terms of divorce or staying married, not happy or not happy. Okay. I would say the same is probably polygamous where it's either, maybe even more. I would tend to say maybe there's less of a chance that it ends in divorce I could, I could versus see, not. That's, that's why it gets complicated because I could see how it could be less of a chance ends up in divorce, but like there's so many Just other because I feel like once you're of. doing something that's not the, you know, traditional default, like typically monogamy is traditional default, mm-hmm. whatever. If once you're not doing that, typically the choice is more intentional. Like I'm entering, like, for example, let's even go away from poly- polygamy. Let's mm-hmm. do like just the open relationship as we discussed versus yeah, the yeah. monogamous relationship, removing marriage out of the picture. Mm-hmm. I feel like people who choose open relationships, there's like conversations at nauseum or like it's like been they've gone okay. through the discussion about it internally within themselves and with the partner or mm-hmm. partners to the to, to an extent where it's like okay i really made a conscious decision to be okay. in this so with that there's less to me likelihood of people the parties being unhappy with what has been determined whereas with monogamy it might be like like that's what we all know to be good that's how we've all been raised so you're just doing it because that's what you're supposed to do but you might be the guy that's like really like it's i just i feel trapped i don't feel like it's just like fulfilled whatever I, I i get what you're saying i get what you're saying so and i'm not i'm not gonna great. be the let's argue till the end of, end yeah, of time yeah, yeah. person mm-hmm. I, I think that there is some credits or credence to that even though i can see how it could be the opposite the one thing i will say with i can imagine with open relationships mm-hmm. is they have more naturally anyway they have more flexibility and more like adjustability where it's like when things do change you can you don't necessarily have to leave the relationship yeah. you can change yeah. the nature of the relationship you know what i mean so it could be like oh you're not making me completely happy anymore well okay add someone else to increase your happiness like which is obviously again not not to say that it will work just because oh, you yeah, have no, no, those of course. options yeah, yeah. I'm but definitely I not advocating like you have more but yeah, yeah options yeah. Mm-hmm. to do stuff like that where like in a closed thing, relationship yeah. You like can let's do spice it. Things up. <laughs> you can spice it up and go back to your closed relationship, yeah, which yeah. I think is where I stand. Where mm-hmm. it's like you can open it, but like let's keep it closed. Like let's not open it and leave it open. But you know, I think what it's, do you mean? it's so you can open it. Oh god! I, no, I'm I sorry. Like, I really just I'm confused about what you just said. I was just trying to say that me. it can be dynamic. Like just because it's a closed relationship doesn't mean it has to be closed 100 percent of the time. Like you can say, hey, we need. Like you're, we can spice it up. You can spice it up and open up however you want to, but it's ultimately going to be closed back up. And it's just, it's just like a moment. It's just like a fling versus a open, like for a longer period of time or for for everything. That's so. That's it what sounds I mean. like you're saying you could be in an open relationship for a short period of time. Sure. Within a closed relationship. Sure. You're saying you can't do the. I'm entering an open relationship and it being open the whole time. But I can do a. I knew that you were entering go a closed down this relationship. Hole. Like Faye is so annoyed. Is that that not, is exactly what I, I just that's said. That's literally what you just Faye, said. I'm but, just making sure you realize what you just said. You literally just I said know you what could I just do said. an open relationship. I, 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 if you want to like cut off everything else that I said, like yes, that's what I said. I think that I think <laughs> oh the point God. is this. I think the point it's is this. Not fair. To me, I feel like you always simplify what I say. No, no. Of course you can simplify, <laughs> but like when I do it, like obviously I know what I'm doing, and that's what you're like. You know what you're doing. Okay. Like. I'm Obviously, doing. I'm saying that, hey, a closed relationship is a closed relationship, but things change. It's okay for it to change, and I'm open to a level of openness at some point in time for a short... What does that openness mean, Dolpo? What kind of open oh, okay, stuff okay. are you willing yeah, to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. That's how, for, how open that's for are the you next willing to episode. get? How that's open are you willing episode. to get? What specific things are you going to do within Listen, that openness, Dolpo? Tell me, why that. are you not just telling me, Dolpo? Tell oh, me, Dolpo. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll allow my girlfriend to flirt. <laughs> We can spice it up that way. She can flirt, and that would be the openness. So that's I'm actually, it? That's, yo, you said it's open. We'll use that definition. We can do. What did you say it was? Uh, mon- monogamous. Yeah. You got <laughs> like don't even make me go bad. read like, a book. I'm like, yo, stop there. Like, you can't just be going based off of like. I just like just why not just educate yourself on the like variety. It's not that I'm not educating myself. There, and then, it's like, that you don't literally you need you're telling me you need a name for when you're allowed to flirt. Like, you know why labels on. help a lot is because 
so I love many labels. Pe- yeah, because so many people are always wanting definitions. So why not have labels for a lot of? The I guess you know what you're right. You're right. Be. A lot of times, I just assume that we all have a yeah, general and it's understanding. Not exactly. It's not always we, true. Mm-hmm, and you exactly. know that's why I'm here. That's why we do the podcast so I can educate the people that don't know. <laughs> you're allowed to flirt. It doesn't mean anything. You're not cheating, and you're still in a close relationship. Oh, okay. Like what are you talking about? Fair. Flirt. Flirt. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No, I have nothing else. Okay, so phase for open relationships. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> I have for closed relationships, yeah. and that's it. That's it. All right. Do, do we do that in a, a tune of the week? I guess we don't really have to, right? We could. You um, want to? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will choose. That's so weird. We're doing two, and I have like literally no new music. I know, right? Um, I will choose. Let's go with uh, Snow Allegra. She's my tried and true when it comes to lovey-dovey music. Um, so we can do her song. I think it's called Parachute, if I'm not mistaken, off of her most recent album. I'm not sure. You, you'll find out when you do your Googles. Um, I think it's a song called Parachute by Snow Allegra. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll do. Okay, well, very cool. Um, a song that I really like is a song called Lose My Mind by LAX. Very good song. Very good artist. I didn't like his album that much, low-key, but yeah. it's a very good song. Check that song out. And uh, shout-outs. Any shout-outs? Shout-outs to everyone in relationships. Open or closed, <laughs> right? Sure. Right? Yeah. That's, that's a good shout-out. I mean, Ditto. acting like I said something crazy. Shout-out to the single ones, too, though. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> shout-out to everyone that's not in relationships. Everyone looking to be in a relationship. Shout-out to everyone, because yeah. we've covered everyone. <laughs> in a relationship or outside relationship. That's everyone, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.